inspiration for the scrapbook. Another stumble as I'm reaching for the right thing to say. Well, I'm kind of coming up empty, can't find my way to you. Does anybody have a map? Anybody maybe happen to know how the hell... This is like something I wouldn't have thought of doing. Usually I just like drew and like sketched, but like for myself, like a stress reliever. And when I was little, I used to tell like everybody, oh, I'm gonna be an actress when I grow up. Now, like, I have that feeling again. I draw more than just swirls, but when I draw swirls, it's like all of my anxiety, all of my feelings, all of my stress just comes out onto the paper. It relaxes me a lot, and it distracts me from everything else happening in my life. When people ask me what I want to do, I say I want to be an artist, but it's more than that, and if this is what I'm talented at, I want to be able to inspire people in this way. I always come back to art, whether it's like visual or performing, because there's just like something about like when I'm painting or when I'm singing that my brain kind of like goes on autopilot and I'm aware of what I'm doing, but I'm able to like express everything that I can't really like necessarily write down. Combining theater and art, it's helped me get through like a lot and Dear Evan Hansen especially. A show like this really resonates with high school students because where you are, the people around you, you want to connect so bad with them, but yet you feel alone. It is a classic coming of age story in so many ways. A boy, a teen, a human being who's not yet an adult encounters a problem and overcomes it ultimately. Most of young America feels very alone and very misunderstood because on social media you have to portray your life in the best possible way or show the great things you're doing and so no one's ever showing the real stuff that's going on. Dear Evan Hansen, it's a show on Broadway, right? Good, that's why we're here, one of the reasons. We put artists in schools and communities to work with children and young people and we give them art materials to create a specific artwork based on the themes of the production. It deals a lot with anxiety and depression, so it's nice to be in a show that is, that shows that that's a real thing. I think oftentimes we're embarrassed by it, and I would think that actually most of my castmates have anxiety or panic or depression. I have a lot of anxiety, so I related to that a lot, and it made me feel a lot less alone. They had us like make a little like collage. That I made because sometimes, like there's so much in my head. Sometimes I feel like, I'm underwater and like I'm trying to breathe and trying to go to the surface, but I can't. And it's just like an overwhelming feeling. When it all feels so big. Okay, I don't think it's my mom, she's a single mother. She raised me and my two siblings alone. Like my dad left just like Evans did, and that's why I relate to So Big, So Small so much, is just because I really relate to that feeling of Evan just going to his mom and being really, really vulnerable. And she is just like the core figure in my life that I have to look up to. You're going to create a frozen picture that whatever it is to you guys represents this theme. What do we think that this might be portraying? Yes. Emotional support. Emotional support, love that. I always come back to art, whether it's like visual or performing, because there's just like something about like when I'm painting or when I'm singing that my brain kind of like goes on autopilot and I'm aware of what I'm doing, but I'm able to like express everything that I can't really like necessarily write down. Even if you've always been that barely in the background kind of guy. I really like acting because like you could like and go into a whole different world and be a completely different person. That the world's passed you by. And with art, you put like your mind on paper. We're looking at kids who are talented in one art area, and we're asking them to look at a second art area and and learn about it and and look at it through the lens of what they're interested in and where their expertise lies. A lot of the kids, this is their first Broadway experience. And then after they've seen the play, they actually have a, a talk back with members of the cast. Coming to see their father in this. They're getting insights into the play that most theatergoers never have. Raise your hand if you have a question. Okay, cool. 
Like, what's the most like important thing that you've drawn from the show? We all have these frailties. We are all so flawed. We are all hot messes, you know? And you can see it in each and every one of these characters. The character I connected with the most was definitely Evan. I've felt that before, um, having like so many people around you, but still feeling alone. Your job as an actor is just to like tell this story, service this play as best as you can, as honestly as you can, and hope that people respond to it and see themselves on stage. The ability to, to see a production and talk about it and learn about it, and then to go back and create work based on what they've seen, I think it's really been phenomenal for the kids who've been involved. At least you have a single door. What is I'm this so going? excited. This is it's not easy to go through really hard things in life and deal with it in a healthy way. Like some people just like keep it in. Like my mom especially loves that we're able to find so much like creativity and passion in art. You failed to test, like go listen to a song. Like you broke up with your boyfriend, paint. It's just, it feels like a healthy way and a productive way because it's what I love doing to get it out. They express through their art a, a deeper understanding of the themes in the show and how it affects not only them but the world at large. Their verbalization of what the show has meant to them and how that it, they've expressed it in the art has been very interesting to us. Once when I got down to painting, I was very relaxed and I like fell in love with the feeling and now I feel like I wanna keep on working on art. I wanted to get something very relatable, like something without words that's just on my canvas that shows a lot of ambiguity with good and bad. Before this musical, I would kind of make negative words into artwork because that's how I was feeling sometimes. And now that it's just changed the positivity, I'm gonna make a lot more positive artwork and I really want to do artwork when I grow up. For me, the satisfaction comes from giving kids an authentic arts experience that they can learn and grow from, and seeing them take that experience and run with it and be better informed individuals when they're finished. Seeing my own kids live their dreams is like the greatest gift for me. Watching them, you know, able to have those possibilities, I think, you know, that's the best thing. There's nothing better for me that more than anything. That's what I want for my kids. Where do you think you'll be in five years? I'm 16 right now. I'll be 21. Don't we leave Saturday? I hope to be in college in the city, majoring in psychology and theater, double major. I hope to still be creating art and just helping people feel not alone with music and psychology.